Trump testifying for four hours yesterday in Manhattan. He assailed the judge. It was extremely tense. What was your big takeaway? The big takeaway is Trump has turned this into a political firestorm. Uh, we know that right now, even though it's a civil trial, it's a legal case that could actually bring his business to a complete stop. But nevertheless, what we are seeing is Donald Trump is using this to score political points with his base. And that's good news, particularly when you're looking at some of the latest polling numbers out that are showing he is actually leading President Biden in key battleground states. So Donald Trump, while he's losing on the legal front and he's losing very, very badly, he is certainly gaining and gaining tremendous ground in the political arena. And I think that's what he wants to happen, but it's going to cost him tremendously. He was sparring with the judge um, in a way that many would say was unpresidential. Yet, as you rightly point out, this seems to be helping him in the polls. But what about his case here and cases in the future? Is this sort of behavior in the courtroom helping or hurting the former president? Look, if this were a criminal case, Donald Trump would be have handcuffs slapped on him, I, I think. And it's interesting to see if this is going to be a prelude, how he handles his bevy of criminal cases where he attempts to try to make it a political argument. And again, that's going to work for him as he had to, as people head to the polls next year, possibly. But right now, Donald Trump needs to be worried about uh, keeping his business afloat, but also staying out of prison. And, and sparring with a judge is just not a way to actually get that judge on your side, particularly when he has to rule for or against you. And we're talking about a fine of at least $250 million. And yesterday, Trump was telling the judge uh, to his face that his opinions were wrong. And I don't just, I don't think that's going to endear Donald Trump, but clearly Donald Trump is solely focused on the political. In fact, there were a number of times in the, in the courtroom where the judge had to admonish Donald Trump from making it a, a political rally. Up next, Ivan, Ivanka, Ivana, Ivanka, I'm getting the Names mixed up. His daughter is up next. Um, what can we expect to hear from Ivanka Trump later this week? You know, I don't think Ivanka, we're going to see night and day. She's not going to be like her dad. She's not going to be like her brothers where it's antagonistic and it's a sparring match. I think you're going to see a much softer side. I think you're going to see someone who is conciliatory. Uh, and all, But also I think she's going to attempt in every way possible to defend the actions of herself, notably, but also her father and the way they did business over the last 50 years. Eric Ham, he is our political analyst at CTV. Eric, thanks so much for that.